In this video, we will learn to prove the equation sine of x minus sine of 3 times x upon square of sine of x minus square of cosine of x is equal to 2 times sine of x. Left hand side of the equation to be proved is sine of x minus sine of 3 times x upon square of sine of x minus square of cosine of x. We know the famous trigonometry identity sine of a minus sine of b is equal to 2 times cosine of half of a plus b times sine of half of a minus b. The proof of the trigonometry identity is given in the video appearing in the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. We also know the famous trigonometry identity cosine of 2 times a is equal to square of cosine of a minus square of sine of a. The proof of the trigonometry identity is given in the video appearing in the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. Application of the above identities gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times cosine of x plus 3 times x upon 2 times sine of x minus 3 times x upon 2 upon minus cosine of 2 times x. Further simplification gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to minus 2 times cosine of 4 times x upon 2 times sine of minus 2 times x upon 2 upon cosine of 2 times x. Cancelling out the common factor 2 in the numerator and the denominator of each fraction gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to minus 2 times cosine of 2 times x times sine of minus x upon cosine of 2 times x. As cosine of 2 times x is the common factor in the numerator and the denominator so cancelling out the common factor gives us left hand side of the equation is equal to minus 2 times sine of minus x. We know sine of minus x is minus sine of x. The proof of the trigonometry identity is given in the video appearing in the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. Also minus of minus is plus. So left hand side of the equation is equal to 2 times sine of x which is equal to right hand side of the given equation. So we have proved the given equation. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos. Share the video and do write in the comments. I am eager to listen to your thoughts. If you have any question related to the video or if you think I should make a video on any other topics in which you are interested, please write in the comments. Thank you.